Greetings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share with you a couple of experiences that I had with multidimensional beings or star beings. Uh, these two experiences I had in 2018. It was spring or summertime and um, they were not so far apart. So the first one was, uh, it was late at night, it was summertime, so it was here in Norway, it is, it's light, it's like daylight outside, like all night long, like 24-7 almost. So I couldn't sleep, so, but still it was late, so I wanted to go to bed. So I decided to just lay down, relax, and go into a, a meditative state and relax as best as I could and uh, I thought that maybe then I could just uh, you know after a while just fall slowly into sleep so as I was laying there I started sensing that there was this presence or this energy presence in the room in my bedroom and I right then I couldn't understand what it was so I just kept on sensing it and I was in a very deep meditative state, but I was still, you know, awake and aware, but in a very, um, yeah, a very peaceful state of mind and body. So I noticed this energy in the room, and I could sense that it was kind of powering up. I could feel that it was getting stronger and stronger. I couldn't see anything then. But I could feel it coming closer and it was stronger and I had a feeling that this there's something in the room that wants some sort of contact or something is going to happen. So I just kept lying there, still being very calm and present, as present as I could, in spite that I could feel this energy. So what happened next is I could sense the energy touching I could feel it physically like it was touching my body like my body I could sense that I was there was this mm, this buzzing energy this buzzing feeling uh, on my body or in my body it was kind of like crawling on all over my body but it, it, it wasn't any negative it felt good but because I could but I, I still could sense this uh, not buzzing or might use the word vibrate vibration I could sense this energy vibration going through my body and it was intensifying as I was lying there and then I understood okay there's somebody here uh, that wants contact or, or something is gonna gonna happen and I could see with my inner eye very very clearly but I was awake and aware in a meditative state but I can see very clearly with my inner eye or third eye if you may I could see a UFO manifesting like all this slightly uh, uh, above my head in in the middle of the room and it was a beautiful almond shaped ship it had no it was like seamless uh, it was very shiny and it was it looked like very like little darker grayish metallic look but I could sense that the the ship was not like in nuts and bolts it was like an energy it was vibrating it had this this beautiful kind of color um, color shine around it and it was beautiful I so I was just watching that one and I thought I have never seen I, I was thinking then that I had never seen this kind of ship before because it was there was no markings on it no no, nothing. It was kind of like, it was just plain, seamless, beautiful almond shape, perfectly almond shape uh, UFO or craft. And I was watching that, and I immediately remember that I felt that okay, this is, you know, this is star beings visiting me for some reason. So, as I was laying there. I start to see something manifest next to me on my right hand side in bed there next to my bed some 
something was manifesting. And it got clearer and clearer as I watched this being, I could see how it looked. So it's, it, it ended up being like fully manifested next to my bed. So this being, I could see and sense that it was very, very, very tall. It was almost like it had, well, it was very, very tall and it was very skinny. It had very, very long arms. I, I couldn't, I could only see the from the lower, uh, lower uh, bottom of the body and up. So I didn't see the, the legs. So it, it was kind of like it was bending over or on its knee next to my bed or something. That's how it looked anyway. So I could only see the, the uh, upper body and uh, the long arms and its head. So the head was very, very big on top on the top of the head was very like round shape bigger and, and then it kind of like slimmed it, the lower part of the face was slimmer and longer and it had very very big oval eyes and the skin tone was like white bluish mixed between white bluish and Translate. It was like the skin was translated. It was like I could see through the skin. It's like I could see the the veins or, or anything that was beneath the skin, and that gave it kind of like a bluish tone to the skin, mixed with this pale white, very unusual looking being or star person. And the nose was also just small nostrils and a very tiny, skinny. Um, mouth and as i said the arms were very very long skinny but very tall as i perceived it it was just it was just standing there or sitting there just and then it bent it over bent bent over to my face looking at me and uh, i just felt this beautiful powerful flowing energy of love peace uh, coming over me so it emanated this peaceful loving energy so I was completely peaceful and I it felt so good this loving energy coming from the star person or being was just amazing just amazing it does something with your mind you, and, and, and with your body that's how I, I well experienced it several times uh, with the meeting with these beings and I felt peaceful and loved and taken care of and it was very the being was very like very comforting and very caring that's the that's the energy I could feel from it and as I don't know if it was she or he I don't know and uh, you know they are all some of them are like they don't have any and gender you know so but anyway and what I really was amazed about with this being of the star person was the very big oval eyes that almost crossed the entire of its face when I looked into them it was beautiful it was emanating with this sparkling it was like tiny tiny sparkles like stardust just twinkling shining and twinkling in his eyes and i remember it was in different beautiful colors colors i never seen on this earth it was twinkling with these beautiful uh, colors like small small particles like stardust within the eyes and when you looked in it in, when i looked into its eyes it was like eternal eyes i could keep on you know just looking and going on in these eyes it was like multi-dimensional eternal eyes it was the most ex you know extraordinary eyes i ever seen before in uh, in a star being so and then i couldn't you know i couldn't i can feel i just could feel more just feel more peaceful loved and taken care of so I just relaxed and I felt so 
taking care of us, as I said, but it was, I don't know, it's very hard to put in words how you feel uh, when it all is happening or going on. There was, for, to me, is almost no words for it. So I'm trying my best to explain to you how it felt and, and find some words that it can describe that, my feelings. Uh, anyway, I can, then I can see this being sitting there or standing next to me. It, it, it showed me, it lifted its arm with its hand, like directly over my body from like uh, uh, beneath my head. And I could see his hand. It, the fingers were like twice, if not third as twice, well, twice, if, if not more, longer than my own. And they were pale, bluish, and they, it looked like they had several, like, uh, I don't know, but it was very long, very, very long. And it held its hand, like, maybe uh, 10 to 15 centimeters above my body and it started scanning um, the being started scanning like it, it took the hand down you know uh, from beneath my head and started scanning down all the way down to approximately down to my uh, above my root chakra and it stopped and I looked at it and I could sense that it was going to do something with my body and uh, I could see, then I could, I had a vision, and that, not a vision, but I could see actually that uh, it had my, it had its hand above my root chakra. I could see kind of like, I could like see my root chakra right here, and, and its hand was above. What I then saw was amazing, it was a beautiful sight. I could see also the same thing the same sparkle and twinkling of these kind of like um, uh, star sparkles came that he, he or she had in, in his eyes came from the palm of, of the being's hand but it, it was like a shower kind of a slow shower down with this beautiful sparkle in different colors and then it went into into and down mixing with the colors of my root chakra and I, what I saw then the, his hand started to rotating slowly while these sparkles while the stardust sparkles in different colors were were, were going along with, with its rotating hand so it was like swirling like a small tornado going like this above my chakra and the colors were beautiful and now they were like spiraling around you know both both clockwise and then stopped and and it went counterclockwise it did that for for a few seconds and i could see and feel how this cleansed and cleared out my root chakra so then i knew that okay i'm getting a, a healing or clearing of my root chakra and then after a while it moved the being's hand moved above my hara chakra and did the same thing with that one and the same thing with my my solar plexus my heart chakra my throat chakra until it ended up on top of my crown chakra so i knew that this was a healing and clearing uh, of all of my chakras and it was a be it was beautiful to look at because this mixing with different colors with, with the chakra and it, when it when its hand rotated clockwise and counterclockwise I could see that my chakra just lightened up and started to shine and was getting brighter and brighter in color so it was a mix of beautiful beautiful colors I got more and more cleared and I just knew that this is amazing I'm, I'm having a really like a chakra, chakra clearing and and when he, I could feel that uh, the being's hand was on top of my crown chakra I could feel the, like a powerful tingling down my head top of my head it was like thousands and thousands of ants crawling on top of my head 
and you know like went down through my you know down through my head and and down to the other chakras so i could feel that it was above my crown chakra and then did the same thing uh, clockwise counterclockwise then i couldn't see it because it was up on top of my head so i couldn't get a view of it uh, but i've already seen then quite a, a, a show with colors and light and twinkling star particles in, on, in each and every one of the chakras and i could sense that when he had his or she the being had his hand above a crown chakra i felt that this telepathic communication happened um what i sensed it said i it said it was since it's telepathic communication it's not and then you have to you know when it goes through your mind afterwards you know you are fil there's filters there so what i what i had an understanding of what uh, the star being communicated to me was exactly that it came to clear and heal and upgrade my chakra and my dna and this was very common this is what they did with their star seeds with their family on earth so they come to help clear and heal and upgrade uh, or first heal and clear your chakras and then upgrade your system or up, upgrade your DNA. Uh, I'm sure several other people or you know other people as well have had these experiences in in some way or another but that was the communication that came through me and and that I, I could also hear or sense that this being was telling me that I should remember that they are my family and they are here you know from time to time to check up on me or yeah on us starter seeds yeah, and and to help us upgrade um, our bodies and our mind or consciousness so he said that I should remember who I was and where I came from and that they are my family and uh, they they this is a procedure procedure that they do so uh it was an amazing experience amazing feeling and the beauty the, the uh, all the beauty with these colors and i have no words to explain it but anyway i was so grateful um for this healing for this upgrade and it was Mm, this beautiful experience of totally peace, uh, love, care, I can't even explain it. I think I was so relaxed and so peaceful and so content that I finally fell asleep. And when I wake up early in the morning, the day after, I was, oh, what happened? Oh, it, oh. Is, is you know is every, everything's over and the being is gone and and you know but when i woke up and got up out of bed i was so full of energy i had so much energy and i was i felt like i was sparkling myself I, it's amazing i had so much energy going on and so much positive energy going on it was amazing and and that feeling i had that feeling for for several days after it was amazing it was amazing uh so that was that one uh, and then later on i don't think it was that much later but it was kind of like I, I don't remember a few months maybe a couple of three months later um i had another experience it was very similar to to, to the first one but still not uh, same thing i was lying there in bed just going to going to bed couldn't sleep uh, um, straight away so i went into this deep relaxing meditative state again and uh, then same as the uh, the previous experience i could sense that something was in the room i could just sense it 
uh, a very intuitive soul also so I'm very I can sense you know to be so intuitive it's like for better for worse I mean but in these cases it's kind of good you know to go to to have this intuition of this uh, empathic abilities because you can sense the energies before it's like right there in your face if you you know might say but anyway I could sense that there was something in the room again I couldn't see anything but I sensed it and I had the same kind of buzzing uh, feeling in my body is that it was um yeah it was this vibration vibrating buzzing energy of feeling that started to feel I could feel it uh, through my entire body it was not as powerful as the previous experience but nonetheless it was the same sort of the same and I uh, I kind of I was in this I was in the present moment deep relaxing not sleeping uh, no no not sleeping so I was just there you know trying to be in the experience as much as I could sensing feeling seeing and then as then I could see also this other being this this being was manifesting slowly again at the right hand side of my bed as the previous experience but this being looked a little bit different. It had not as big as of a head. It's more like a, um, a little bigger than us, but you know, more like just oval looking head. And it had big eyes, but not as big as the, the other being had. And this, his eyes, this one's eyes, it was darker darker it didn't have the the, the twinkling sparkling uh, things going on in its eyes but it had dark eyes I have seen this kind of being many 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 years ago uh, who came to heal me then also to heal my hip and my knee I told I, I did a video on that experience as well so this being kind of like reminded me of that one uh, but still it was not the same and this being had a brown grayish uh, skin tone not like the grays it had like mixed between gray and brown so a much darker skin tone but it was kind of like more solid I couldn't see through it so it was the skin was like more like us the skin we have uh, but in, in like uh, on a, like a darker person dark, like a dark skin tone I couldn't see any 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 I can see through the skin like I felt that I could with the other one but what I could see is kind of like the skin was covered with like these uh, what should I say it was it looked like it was a, a lot of like symbols or signs of some sort that I couldn't understand or if it, it would if, or if it just was the skin looking like that uh, all wrinkled or it was like a mix between wrinkles and like perfectly patterns like patterns like wrinkly pattern type skin um, but it was also beautiful in its own way uh, but the energy was quite different from the other one so this uh, uh, this energy was more like direct more uh, what should I say I, I didn't feel you know I didn't feel anything extraordinary like that I was just I just knew I just saw it and I knew I knew he was he or she was there to either communicate with me or to to do some healing of some sort I didn't know but it wasn't direct directly emanating any specific uh, powerful energy like that so it just showed up and showed itself and 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 the next thing was that I could see this being moving down to my lower part of my body and it was moving down it was kind of like showing that it, it wanted to go down to the lower part of my body 
uh, approximately around my my root chakra and I can remember for a second or two there I got a little bit of sharpened and I was thinking oh oh what's going on because I didn't like the feeling that it was going down to my root chakra you know what I'm saying I'm a woman you know it, also men could feel I mean that's a sensitive area so I was like oh oh because I've had another experience where um yeah I think I did another video on that I'm not sure but I had another experience uh, which involved uh, things happening in my uh, root chakra nothing bad nothing nothing evil or bad or, or something like that no not, not at all and I didn't feel that it was this being was want you know this being I didn't feel that this being was negative or wanted anything you know was a threat or anything no it was just very maybe a little bit uncomfortable for a, for a few seconds there so I kind of like directed my attention to the to the, the this star being and uh, and, and I uh, communicated with him telepathically and, and, and asked him. I kind of sent him some energy and vibrations that, that I wanted to know what was going on because uh, this, was, uh, this is a sensitive area, very private and sensitive area, so I didn't want anything bad to happen there. So I sent this being this, uh, these thoughts and these feelings. And and the being looked at me and I, I didn't feel that he wanted me he wanted anything bad to happen to me absolutely not but I was very curious because I couldn't see anything as in previous uh, experience so what happened then is while the being well I could I could sense the being being down the low part of my body, but then, then when I started to telepathic, you know, communicate with him, he kind of came closer to me with his face, so he was kind of like not far from my face, and he looked at me with his big eyes, and and he simply just said to me, "These are the words this being said to me." He said, "You." Are ready to be harvested okay you're ready to be harvested oh I was thinking like oh god goodness is this good or bad because I didn't actually know what this word harvest was about so I got very at, at a few seconds there I got very cautious and I felt that I was you know um, I got a little bit worried and I sensed that I was coming more and more back into like my mind and my I could sense that my, my thoughts were starting to get active and I was like oh my, what is this harvest what was harvesting was harvest and at some kind my some some in some way my brain or my thoughts kind of started this mind chattering and I think it's somewhere there connected the harvest with something negative and I said oh this sounds so this doesn't sound good and uh, what you know what do you mean and blah 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 and I could sense that my 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 mind was starting to overreact I was starting to the mind chatter was yeah starting up and at that moment the being just left and I guess that the energy just left and it did so very quickly it, it was like when it kind of like sensed that I was you know my mind I was struggling with my mind and my thoughts and maybe I was a little bit worried it disappeared uh, so very 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 weird uh, but I uh, I remember I was lying there and I kind of got out of my very peaceful and uh, deep meditative uh, state of being and, and kind of like was in my body again and my, my mind was active and I said oh my god what is going on and what is this harvest 
this word harvesting is this, is it bad or is it good or what is it but i had a pre uh kind of like judgment of the word being not so good because it's you know i don't know in what kind of um, situation i heard it before but that's what that's how i perceived it right there then so i thought okay i have to check it out check this out the morning after or something i just you know but I was a little bit baffled by the whole thing. So I think uh, eventually I fell asleep. And the morning after, I, you know, I had a normal busy day taking care of, you know, my son, my animals and doing the stuff I regularly do every day, my chores. And then I kind of like, you know, as I do, like days after these experiences, I contemplate, I go through the experience. And sometimes I write them down, sometimes I feel that I'm, I don't have to write them down because the experience is so powerful in itself that I do. It's like it's stored in, in the back of my mind. I remember I remember them, so I decided not to, to write them down. But anyway, uh, you know, it went a couple of days, three, four days, something, maybe a, a week. I was just, you know, okay, this happened. Yeah, I didn't think of it anymore. And then I, uh, one of those days, I went on the internet. I don't know what I was going to do, but I was searching for something. And while I was searching on the internet, like mysteriously, I, I mean, just out of the blue, uh, this uh, internet page came up. And it was, it was about the, I don't know if you ever heard of it, the law, the, the books, the law of one that David Wilcock talks about, the, the law of one. So uh, when I went to, yeah, so when I was on the internet, this, this, um, this page from the, the law of one, it came up uh, on my computer. So I was like, oh, this is weird. What is this? I knew about the law of one, but I started reading this page that came up. And, oh, my God. And then David Wilkins was mentioned in it. So I noticed that I was in on some of his, uh, um, uh, on his site. And, and I was on, I had, and um, I was in on some of his articles. Which I, you know, I, I, I don't do. I, I, some, I heard some of his uh, videos when he have his YouTube videos, his talks and information videos. Uh, never, I'm never in on his um, on his uh, site where he has his articles there. So, well, there it was uh, the article with Love One, and on that page, I started reading. And the word I said that was underlined in, in that article was actually the word harvest. Oh, goodness. Who would have known? I mean, <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences. Not at all. I've had too many experiences. Uh, some people will call, well, that's not a coincidence. No, no. There are, well, I, I, I just simply don't believe in coincidences. Not at all. So I immediately knew, oh, 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 this is the answer I've been contemplating on about the, the, the word harvest. And as I read it, it dawned on me that the word harvest is actually, it actually means that this was an article about spiritual uh, awareness or consciousness. No expansion of consciousness and stuff. And the word used there was harvest as of or in when you when you talk about so you can maybe you can directly kind of like um, say that harvest is another word for ascension. You know? Ascension. So when you've done your work and you you you've done a lot of spiritual work and spiritual practice and you you're going somewhere and and at some point uh, you're ready to be harvested 
so it means kind of like you are uh, maybe ready to 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 um, step into the next or to next level uh, I, I think maybe you have then understood or uh, gotten some information or knowledge or wisdom that kind of brings you up to another level of understanding you know, another level of consciousness uh, if I can explain it that way I think you know what I'm saying but anyway so in that article so meant harvest meant actually ascension going from one dimension or one level of knowledge or dimension to another so that's basically what it explained harvest being uh, and oh boy did I get something more to contemplate on with my experience and I, I was wondering why uh, okay what is what did this what did this being mean that I was was I ready to be harvested what kind of harvest and, and what is it all about um, so in the days to come I um, I contemplated on that I, I'm 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 a person that don't like to kind of I like to contemplate on it and find the answers answers to things from within first and then I usually get confirmations from outside from different sources that that can confirm or validate uh, what I already have found have found from within so because I don't like to be colored from you might say colored from uh, energies or people or uh, other stuff from outside of myself because then I feel that it might I might take that as uh, the truth or the answer to my to my stuff or to what I'm contemplating on so I used the days to contemplate on it and, and, and eventually made some sense to me because I could see later on like several months and a year or two you know a year or more after I kind of got an understanding of what this was and all the experience I've had has come in like different time span of my life and stuff and sometimes it may look or feel like very chaotic but as the time proceed and I could say see that each and every experience I've had has a, like a red thread through it it's like meant to be it's like it's like perfectly planned if you may if you might say so that's very interesting very yeah very interesting um, so yeah so I won't go into more uh, about what it means to me because that's uh, my personal experience but if there is any questions or if anybody has something on their mind they want to share with me or whatever uh, please you know contact me you make a comment or you know I can try to answer it as best as I can because I, I'm sure there are people out there that you guys and maybe have had the same kind of experiences so um, so it would, it would be nice to kind of you know have a sharing uh, and I would love to to listen to or read what your what your experiences uh, are as well well I don't know what time it is I try not to have no not to well I took two kind of experiences in one video this time so that's good I'm getting there uh, but as I said uh, earlier that when I start talking and sharing my experiences sometimes it comes back to me more detailed and it's very then I start talking more about it because oh it kind of like oh yeah kind of like, I kind of like get some answers to my contemplation about my my experiences so but that's a good thing anyway so you know what I think this is it for now and thank you for listening and thank you for all the beautiful feedback I've already gotten and please contact me if there's anything I can be uh, of help of or contact me to share your experiences so yeah so this is uh, it for now and well yeah have an open mind a loving heart 
good intentions. Keep your eyes to the skies. And meditate. Go into contemplation. Meditate. I think we are in the times right now where it's very, very important that we have a look on our own stuff, that we do healings and clearings in order to align ourselves with the shift the earth and all creation in the universe are going through uh, in these times. So, I hope you do that. Uh, anyway, I uh, see you soon. I will be back because I have a list with other stuff I want to share. So I try to keep it up and yeah, I'll do my best with that. Okay, thank you for now. Be kind. Bye-bye.